I'd like to acknowledge and recognize that we are going to appoint uh, both Adam and Bethany as evangelists and women's leader in the Dallas Church. to present to Adam. And it says, Adam, today is an acknowledgement of how you have allowed God to work in your life through his spirit and to become a powerful man of God. It does signal a level of competency, but in reality, this is a recognition of who you are and the godly leadership you provide to those around you, especially in our singles ministry. In the last few years, God has done amazing things in your life bringing you here to Dallas, leading a vibrant singles ministry, and giving you the love of your life, Bethany. <laughs> your life is full, as God intended it to be. Adam, I am grateful for your friendship and your love. Come on, Todd. And your partnership in the Lord. As Paul has given Timothy a charge in 2 Timothy 4, I give it to you as well. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead. And in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Amen. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instructions. I love you and I'm proud of you, brother. confidence in you because I know your utmost desire is to please God in everything you do. Your parents imparted deep convictions in you and you've taken those convictions and allowed them to blossom into a strong faith. I've seen you go through difficult times and every time you've used those times to grow in your peace and trust in God. These are the qualities that have turned you into the confident woman that you are today. Even though you've not been married long, you've become a godly wife and partner in the gospel to Adam. When I think of you, I think of Mary. In her complete confidence in the Lord. In Luke 138, Mary said to the angel, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. She did not question God's plan, but she trusted. I've also seen you grow in your compassion and embody an undying love for the women around you, even during challenging times. You're devoted to them in all circumstances, whether they are in a position to give back to you or not. Over the past couple of years, you have become one of my very best friends. It is such an honor to share about you. I love you so much. As you grow in the Lord, I urge you to continue to love everyone around you, to let God's word dwell in you richly, and to preach his word boldly wherever you go. Amen. 